Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. My most recent books are the following. College Entrance Reviewer Books 1 and 2, Core Concepts Reviewer for any high school, especially Science High School, PSHS Reviewer Volume 3 and 4. You can buy them online at Lazada and Shopee. My channel is about math tutorials which can help you with your entrance exams, SAT, and ordinary math class lessons. Please subscribe and click the bell button. Let's start! Hello everyone! Today's lesson is Possible Entrance Exam Questions. These are two entrance exam questions which really appeared in college entrance exam. How did I know that? Because my students asked me how to solve this entrance exam questions right after a college entrance exam. Okay, problem number one. If A, B equals 10 and A plus B equals 6, what is A squared plus B squared? A plus B quantity squared is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Now, A plus B is equal to 6. So you plug in the value of 6 here, you will be having 6 squared is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Now, simplify 6 squared is 36 equals. Can I now write B squared beside A squared? Yes. Because of the commutative property of addition. So A squared plus B squared, I'm just rewriting it here. And then plus 2AB. A, B, 2 A, B. A, B in the given is 10, so 2 times 10. That will give us a 20. So 36 equals A squared plus B squared plus 20. Now, observe that A squared plus B squared can be isolated here by transposing 20 to the other side. So 36 minus 20 equals a squared plus b squared. Then simplify, 16 equals a squared plus b squared. There, that's it. Hello everyone. So this is part two of our possible entrance exam questions. Possible, I use the word possible, but they actually appeared in entrance exam you know, years ago. What is the last digit of 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9? I will give you 5 seconds to answer it. Go! What's, the, what's your answer? The answer is 0. Let me explain why the answer is 0. Remember, when you multiply a 2 and a 5, it gives you a 10. And whenever you multiply a 10 to any number like 15 times 10 is equal to 150, it gives you a last digit of 0. Like for example, if we have here 28 times 10, this gives you 280. The last digit is 0. Another example, if you have here 37 times 10, the answer is 370, so the last digit is always 0. For our second example, let me read. What is the 2,000th month from August? How do you solve this problem? I'll give you 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. If you observe the months in a year, are in a pattern. You have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So they're always 
12 months in a year. Therefore, we'll just go back in a circle. So what, how do you solve this? Very easy. You divide 2,000 by 12. Why are we dividing by 12? Because there are 12 months in a year. After January to December, you go back to January again. So 20 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. 20 minus 12 is 8. Bring down 0. 80 divided by 12 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. 80 minus 72 is 8. Bring down 0 again. 80 divided by 12 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. There, we minus again, we get 8. That would mean from August, you count the months again down 8 times. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Let's count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The remainder is 8. So, the 2000 month from August is April. Before we end, you always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe. Thank you.